Hy moet goeie naand die waar is. Ek groet u allemaal vanavond by ons woensdag bid eet, ons levendige uitsending van ons woensdag bid eet. Um, en um, net sê ek, 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 is, ek, is, ek is bly dat ons hierdie woensdag bid, bid eet mag hee, dat ons hierdie tyd saam met die heren kan, kan spandeer. Um, something that I say, uh, and, and I don't just want it to be something that, that is easy and light that comes off my lips, but ons is nie more gewaarborg nie. We haven't been guaranteed anything. And God has my life and my times in the palm of his hand. He knows what he's doing with my life. And I trust him. But I don't know if I've been promised more and oor more. So I want to thank God at this moment for this night. I want to thank God for this bit eat. I want to thank God for this opportunity and this time that we have to, to come together dear Hiddy. Facebook uitsending, but in the spirit we gather together as children of God, we gather together as a gemeente, en, en ek dank die Heere, dat ons een tyd kan uit, uit ons dag en uit ons week uitneem, en, 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 en die tyd vir die Heere offer, and, and give it to God this evening. So that's what we're doing this evening, we're coming together, we're thanking God for, for what He's done for us, we want to thank Him for this time that we have together, and, and I'm not going to waste the time. I want to pray. I want to seek God. And I want to thank Him that I still have another opportunity. I thank Him for the heartbeat and the breath in my lungs. And, and with my strength, I will worship Him. With my strength, I will praise Him. With my strength and with everything that's in me, I will give Him glory and honor and praise. Kom ons vat net oomlik, net daar waar jy is, in die huise. Kom ons buig ons hoofdes, kom ons sluit ons oor, kom ons open in gebed. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord, that in this night hour we can come before you, not by works we've done, but by thy grace and thy mercy and thy love. And Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blood of your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jere, die bloed is kostbaar vir ons, want dis die bloed wat ons witter was as snu. Dis die bloed wat a weg maak vir ons. It's the blood that allows us to be called the children of God. And oh, what what love is this that we should be called the children of God? In Jere ons prijsie, ons loofie en ons eerie vanavond. Jere ek pleit die bloed oor elke persoon wat hierna luister op hierdie oomlik. Oor elke huisgesin Jere, ek pleit die bloed oor ons gemeente. Ek pleit die bloed Jere Jesus oor myself. Jere bewaar ons, ons skuil net by u. Oor rots van die eeuwe, ons skuil net by u en ons loofie, en ons prijsie, en ons eerie vanavond. Heere, sê in hierdie tykie wat ons nou saam met u gaan spandeer. Heere, laat al die lof, en die eer, en die prijs, en die aanbidding. Heere, ons swaai dit na u toe, dit kom net u toe, want u alleen is waardig, Heere, om dit te ontvang, en ons loofie, en ons prijsie, en ons eerie daarvoor vanavond, Heere. Let every word that proceeds out of my heart and mouth give glory, honor, and praise to your holy name by the, the blood of your son and the drijfkracht van die heilige geest vanavond. Heere, ons loof u, ons prijs u, en ons eer u vanavond, want u is God, Heere, en u alleen is dit waard vanavond, en het kom net u toe, Heere, en ons dank u daarvoor, in Jesus naam. Amen, amen. Ek voel gelei om net een liekie te sing, uh, uh, dis, dis een wat ons dik wil sing by die woensdagavond bid hier, uh, sing saam by die huis as u wil, uh, of ik kan graag maar luister, um, maar ik gaan so. Het is heerlijk om hier te dien, het is heerlijk om hier te dien, het is heerlijk, het is heerlijk, het is heerlijk om hier te dien, het is heerlijk om hier te dien, het is heerlijk om hier te dien, het is heerlijk, het is heerlijk, het is heerlijk om hier te dien, Het is heerlijk om hier te dien. Het is heerlijk om hier te dien. Het is heerlijk, het is heerlijk, het is heerlijk om hier te dien. Ja, het is heerlijk om hier te dien. Het is heerlijk om hier te dien. Het is heerlijk, het is heerlijk, het is heerlijk om hier te dien. Het is heerlijk om hier te dien. Ja, dis heerlik om hier te dien, 
Dus heerlijk, dus heerlijk, dus heerlijk om hier te dienen. Dus heerlijk om hier te dienen. Dus heerlijk om hier te dienen. Dus heerlijk, ja heerlijk, dus heerlijk om hier te dienen. Amen. Is dit die waarheid voor u vanavond die waar is? Is dit heerlijk voor u om hier te dienen? Van mijn hart, die waar is dus heerlijk om hier te dienen. Dat is niks soos dit niet. Het is heerlijk om hier te dienen. Amen. Ik weet niet hoe kom niet, maar hier plaats het niet in mijn hart. Um, dat was een tijdje wat ons hier zo so gebid het, um, op een zaterdag, wanneer die mannen samengekomen het om te bid, elke tweede of derde of vierde zaterdag, zoals ons dit kon, uh, het ons gebid een tijdje op een zaterdag aan, en ik onthou, ik het hier zo so op die vloer gelee, tussen die broers wat gebid het, en at a moment I was aware of, of lying at Jesus' feet. Ik kon nie die voete sien nie, maar ik heb niet op dat moment gevoel, ik leen nou bij die voeten van Jezus. En ik heb al geleerd en ik heb het, het, het. Dus het is vreemd op wat type oomlik is, is jou, jou gebeuren verdwijnen en het woord nou niet aan bidden wat uit je uitkomt. En, en, en toen ik het al geleerd en gevoel, nou leer ik bij Jezus' voeten. En ik prijs die hier en ik heil, hoor ik zo'n so zachte stem van die Heilige Geest in mijn hart praat en zei: What compares? To this. What in the world compares to this? En dit het my hart laat breek en ek het meer geheil, maar dit is die waarheid en, 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 en die waar is dit, dit is rarig heerlijk om so tye saam met die Heere te hee en, 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 en te voel ek is nou so nabij aan die Heerse voete. Ek kan, ek kan net my hand uitstrek en die soom van sy kleed aanraak, want die Heere is nou so nabij. En ik wil zeggen van aan, die is trouw. Die Heere is getrouw. God is faithful every day and every hour. And God is as close to you and I as the next time that we go down on our knees and say, Heere, ek soek jy. Ek soek jy. Here's my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Ek smag na die waters, waters strome. Ek smag naar die teenswoordigheid van die Heere. As jy daarna smag, sê die Heere in sy woord, as ek klop, sal dit geopen, sal, sal, sal hy open, hy sal dit oopmaak vir my. If I ask, I will receive. If I knock, it will be opened unto me. And if I seek after him, I shall find him, because his word promises, and says to me, you shall seek me, and you shall find me, when you search for me with all your heart. That's the promises of God. En met ons gaan lekker saam bid, vanavond, maar ek wil een kort gedachte met die deel, net voor ons gaan bid vanavond, die waar is, um, staan opgeteken in the book of Zechariah, that's the 14th chapter of Zechariah, verse 8 and verse 9, Zechariah 14, verse 8 and verse 9, ietsie wat die Heere vir my voorgebring het vandag, wat in sy woord staan, wat, 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 wat baie mooi vir my is, and it speaks about the faithfulness of God, that God is faithful, and, and I believe God is bringing it through this evening, want die bar is daar is baie van ons wat sikkel op die oomlik. Ek het so gevoel, wanneer pastoor Dani gepreek het sondag ook, ek het gevoel, en, 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 en ek, ek, ek voel het weer nog steeds, hier het my weer teruggebring, ons, daar is veel van ons wat sikkel op die oomlik. Dis eenvoudige Afrikaanse woord, but a lot of us are going through difficulties, and God, God is saying, He is faithful to us, even in the difficulties. But let's look at the word, Zechariah chapter 14, verses 8 and 9. Listen to this, it says, Zechariah chapter 14 is a prophecy. And it talks about when Jesus comes back again. Na die breilof van die lamp, wanneer Jesus weer terugkom. And he puts his foot, in verse 4 it says, He shall put his foot on the Mount of Olives, wanneer hy terugkom. En hy sal sy foot op die, ole, op, op, op die olijfberg sit. En die berg gaan kloof. And it's going to divide and it's going to make a large valley. And it's going to divide the mountain in half, north and south. But if you look at verse 8, so this is a prophecy. Hierdie gaan nog steeds kom. Ons Jesus gaan kom op die wolke, maar ons Jesus gaan ook steeds terugkom en sy voet op die berg gaan sit. Now listen to verse 8. And in that day it shall be that living waters 
shall flow from Jerusalem, half of them towards the eastern sea and half of them towards the western sea. In both summer and winter it shall occur, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day it shall be, the Lord is one, and his name one. Maar die gedeelte wat uitstaan vir my is hierdie. There will be living waters that shall flow out of Jerusalem. Half will go east and half will go west. And these waters shall flow both summer and winter without stop. It doesn't matter how hot it's going to be. That, that river will always flow out of Jerusalem. That's the promise. It will never stop. There will not be a heat that is hot enough to make the river disappear. There's a lot of rivers that used to be there that are not there anymore because the summer has dried them up. And even in winter, the river will not freeze over and stop flowing. The river is a river that has living waters that shall flow from Jerusalem. Both summer and winter, it shall occur. And that's beautiful to me because that's a promise of something we're going to see. There's going to be living waters that flow out of Jerusalem, east and west. And the promise is they will keep flowing no matter what. Those living waters will be faithful. They will flow east and they will flow west, whether it's summer and whether it's winter. No matter what's going on, it will not be too hot for the river and it will not be too cold for the river. The river will never freeze and the river will never dry up. It will always flow continuously. Now that's in the future. But when I look at the cross of Calvary, where my Jesus died for you and for me, there is a river that flows from Emmanuel's veins. When we see the, the oorsprong van hierdie rivier dat vloei van Golgotha'se jevel, die oorsprong van hierdie rivier is die hart van God. Because the heart of God was displayed to us in the person of Jesus, for so much did God love this world that out of his heart he gave us Jesus. And when Jesus died on the cross, the river that flowed from God's heart carried on flowing when Jesus was crucified on the cross. Because when his veins were opened up for us, there flows a river out of Emmanuel's veins. A healing river. A river of peace and of love and of joy. A river of protection. A river of foresinum. A river of God's love and care and, 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 and attention for us as his children flows from Calvary's tree. It flows from Jesus' veins. It flows from his side that was pierced where out came blood and water. And that river is still flowing. The river that was opened when Jesus cried out, it is finished, is a river that still flows this moment and this day it is never too hot your circumstances are never too difficult to make the river of the love of god that was poured out for us in the sacrifice of jesus this nooit te warm in jou omstandighede om daai rivier te laat vloei hy vloei al hoe warm the heat of the circumstances and the situations of life will never dry up the river that has poured out from calvary's tree that has poured out from the cross of Jesus. There is never a time that God's love becomes cold for you, that the river freezes over and that nothing is ever coming to you. That river that flows from the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ is faithful. If you're up on the mountain, the river is there. If you're down in the valley, the river is there. The river that flows from the foot of that cross where the Prince of Glory died for you and for me, is a faithful river. It will not stop. I, I don't know your situation. I don't know your circumstances tonight. I don't know. I don't know where you self befind vanavond. But it doesn't matter how low you are. For it's the blood of Jesus. It reaches from the highest mountain. And it flows to the lowest valley and everything in between. And it is a faithful stream from a faithful God. You know what the Bible says about the God that we serve, Dibaris? The Bible says in the book of Revelations, thus says the one who is called faithful. The God that we serve, his name is faithful. 
Hij is getrouw. Dit is, dit is die titel van ons God. Die getrouwe een. Hij is getrouw aan ons. He cannot be unfaithful because he can't go against himself. He is faithful every day, every hour and every moment. Look at what the book of Psalms 119 says. Verses 89 and 90. Listen to this. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. The word of God cannot move. It is settled in heaven. Amen. Listen to verse 90. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. The Afrikaans liek is so mooi. Die goed en tierenheid eindig nimmer meer. Ek gaan het so stel vanavond. Die trouheid, Heere, eindig nimmer meer. Let me read it again. Verses 90. Psalms 119 verses 90. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. Now if God made the earth and it abides, God hung the earth in spaces if he hung it on nothing and it abides. And it cannot be moved because God put it there and it will not move until God says it's finished. Now if that's a physical thing, how much more his word. He is faithful. He's faithful to us in his word. He's faithful to us in his spirit. He's faithful to us in his love. He's faithful to us in the way that he cares for us. Listen to verse 90. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. I trouheid is aan alle generaties wat I dien. I'd like to read something out of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 43. Listen to this. Isaiah 43 verses 1 to 3. But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel. That's for you and me. Ons is, ons is die kinders van Abraham dier geloof in Jesus. Ons is die geestelike Israel. We are the spiritual Israel. So this is for us. Now listen to what it says. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name, and you are mine. Verse 2. Here it comes. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Nou kan u miskien sê, maar dis oud testamentis. Nou gaan ons weer terug na die, volg, die, die vorige versie. Listen. Your word is settled forever in heaven, and your faithfulness endures to all generations. So it was for that generation, and it is for you, and it is for me tonight, and this is the God that you and I serve. He is faithful. Faithful in his love, faithful in his care, faithful in his protection, and he is jealous over you, and he protects you, and you must trust him, because he is faithful. Ons God is getrouwd aan ons. Hij is getrouw. Hij is trouw aan ons. And this is what he is saying to his people tonight. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. This is our problem. This is our problem, is when we doubt the faithfulness of God. We do two things when we doubt His faithfulness. We open up the door for the devil and we close the door to everything that God wants to do for us. Because if I doubt God's faithfulness, then I'm saying, Sal God my beskerm. Sal God my deerdra. Misschien is, is die rivier bietje koud en hy, hy het gaan staan, want God is nou nie so lief vir my soos hy was in die vorige tye nie dat die rivier nou nie hard loop nie, die rivier van sy voorsiening en liefde en trouw en beskerming, that's a lie from the devil, because that river flows. No matter how cold, no matter how hot, no matter what the season, no matter how deep your valley, no matter how high you found yourself on the mountain tops, no matter how deep you are in the kranse, die rivier van Godse goedheid vloei. And I will trust his faithfulness, because he said to me, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. 
He is faithful to me. My situation is not so big that God's power now can't reach me. Nou is het so hittig dat die stroom van Godse voorsiening is nou weg, weggeneem dier die hitte van die omstandighede. Dit is nie so nie. You see, if I close the door on what God can do for me because I'm doubting His faithfulness, then I'm opening up the door to the attacks of the devil. Gaan God my beskerm, dan maak ek die deur toe vir Godse beskerming. Oeh, gaan God my beskerm, dan maak ek die deur oop vir die vijandse aanslag tegen my. Nee, God is trouw aan sy kinders. Elke uur, elke dag, elke oomlik, elke geslag, elke een wat hom gaan dien in geest en in waarheid. And we must believe that. My God is faithful. Every day and every hour. Every moment, every second and every step of the way. That river is going to flow in Jerusalem one day and I'm going to see it. Because my God will take me from this moment to that moment. Hy gaan my bekleer in sy kleed van rechtvaardigheid. Gewas dier die bloed van sy seen. Hy gaan my van hierdie oomlik in my leven tot die oomlik waar ek hier sy seen staan op die olijfberg, ek gaan het sien met my eie oor, want my God is getrouw, he that promised is true and faithful and he cannot lie, he said I will look after you, he said I'll protect you, trust him, I believe in him, who looked after me yesterday, that he will look after me today, and that he will look after me tomorrow, because his name is faithful and he cannot change, He's not hot today and cold tomorrow. He's always the same one. And that flow of love from the heart of God that was displayed in the blood of Jesus poured out for us. That in die geest, as jy hom sien, daar is a rivier wat vloei van Golgotha se hevel. A healing stream. A caring stream. A loving stream that comes from God to you and me. And my God is faithful. And I trust Him. Amen. Ek wil een paar oomlikke vat, kom ons bid saam, of hierdie oomlik die waar het as een paar saakies waarvoor ek wil bid, ek gaan hulle noem, maar bid saam met my bid vir jou huisgesin terwijl ons bid, bid saam vir hierdie saakies, ek noem hulle op, so dat jy saam met my nou kan bid, maar ook asjeblief, dat jy daar oor kan bid as jy vanavond gaan slaap en dier die week en in die tydje wat voorleg. I'm thinking of brother Henry, wat so mooi vir ons die klavier en orrel speel, hy het een maak operatie gehad, kom ons bid vir Henry, ek bid vir oom Naas, wat hy weet die omstandighede, ek sal het nie sê nie, maar ek gaan net sê, bid vir oom Naas' lichaam, asjeblief, ons bid vir Kevin en Shaliske en ons licht op, die jong Baba Keilip, asjeblief, kom ons bid vir die klein Babakie, God gaan daar intree, ek bid vir ander wat in die hospitaal is, Ons wil bid vir die wat werkse omstandighede het, waar hulle salaris gesnui was, die wat werk verloor het. Ek bid vir die wat so neergedruk voel op die oomlik met die ding wat aangaan met die COVID. Hulle is die duivel kom met die depressiviteit om dit in die hart in te sit. En ek wil ook vanavond bid teen die geest van selfmoord en depressiviteit. Ek wil teen dit bid Ons wil bid vir ons land en ons wil bid vir ons volk, dat die Heere die volk spaar en ons weet, ons God is trouw. He said, it will not come near our tent, it will not come near our house, and though a thousand fall on our left hand and ten thousand on our right hand, to us it shall not come. And my God is faithful and I believe His word. Kom ons bid saam in die laaste paar minute wat ons het en kom ons bid. Soek die aangezicht van die Heere in gebed. Bid saam met my. Kom ons bid saam as een gemeente. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness and grace this evening. But Lord, we seek you, Lord. You said knock. You said ask. You said seek, Lord. So Lord, we're knocking, we're asking, and we're seeking. Lord, you cannot answer prayers unless we pray them. So Heavenly Father, we pray tonight and we ask you. Heavenly Father, we lift up our gemeente to you. Heere, ek pleit die bloed oor elke een van ons, oor elke kind van God, oor elke een wat die dien en geest en in waarheid, Heere, elke een wat die kind is, ek pleit die bloed oor ons, Heere, nou, Heere, bewaar ons van die aanslag van die vijand, bewaar ons, Heere, tegen hierdie COVID en hierdie virus, Lord, protect us, shield us, guide us, and Heavenly Father, I ask, according to your will, Lord, you know what you're doing in this time, but I ask, bewaar your folk, Lord, 
Lord, help, Lord, that the churches can open again. Help, Lord Jesus. Keep us safe in this time. Let us stand up and stand out for die naam in die saak van ons Heere. Maar Heere, bewaar ons volk. Be, be, bewaar asjeblief. Blief ons ouwe geslag, Heere. Ons gouwe kroene in die winte. Bewaar hulle, Heere. Ek bid het in Jesus naam. Lord, I pray for those that have had operations. Those hulle krankheid in hulle lichaam. Hulle voel nie lekker nie, Heere. Daar is pijn daar. Heere, ons bid vir hulle, Lord. I mentioned Henry and oom naas, Lord. We lift up, baby. Kei lift to you at this moment, Lord. We pray for those that have bodily sickness, Lord. Lord, you are faithful, Lord. Your word says that you are the God that healeth us. Your word says that by your stripes we are healed. Your word says that the prayer of the righteous has power with God. That, that die gevierige gebed van die rechtvaardige dra baie kracht met die Heere. En Heere, ons bid vir geneesing vir elke een wat ons genoem het. Lord, a volkome geneesing vir by die keile, Lord. A volkome geneesing vir Henry, Lord, vir oom naas, Lord. Lord, vir 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 Tani Ray, I think of her now, Lord. Lord, I pray for all of those that are going through difficulty and krankheid and pain. Maybe I've missed one or two, Lord, but we lift them up to you now and I ask you that you would lay your nail-scarred hand upon them, Lord Jesus, there where they are at home. Let die kracht, Heere Jesus, dier hulle sal vloei, wat die selfde geest, wat Jesus uit die dooi, dode opgewek het, wat in hulle woon, gaan hulle lichaam oplig en optel, opwek, en Heere genees, dier die bloed en dier die naam en dier die geest, en ons vraag daarvoor, Heere, in Jesus' naam. Lord, I pray for our community and those that are sickling, Lord, with finances and difficulty, Lord, half salary, some that have lost jobs, Lord. Lord, where one door closes, I ask, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you would open up another door. That Heavenly Father, Lord, where one river has, has gone dry and there's no more voorsiening van die stroom, Heere, neem hulle en plaas hulle in a groter stroom, met meer voorsiening, because you said in your word, you shall supply all our needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. And Lord, we ask you to supply our needs, Lord. Lord, your word, Lord, supply our needs. Lord, give us our daily bread, Lord Jesus. Lord, I ask you to help our communities, Lord. If they lost a job, give them a better job. If the salary was half, give them more of a salary plus a bonus at the end of the year. Want hier is die God wat vir ons sorg, hier, en ons dankie daarvoor, in Jesus naam. Heavenly Father, I want to come against at this moment every spirit of depression, every enemy's agent of the devil that comes to oppress, comes to put negative thoughts in the minds of your children, comes to put fear and doubts in their hearts, comes to try and take them away from their trust and faith and hope in you. I rebuke those works of the devil. I come against you in Jesus' name. I bid your work in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I tell your work a krachteloos in Jesus' name, in the blood of the Lamb, I rebuke you in Jesus' name, and I command you to leave, leave the children of God, leave their house, and leave their thoughts, and leave their minds, you have no place there, the blood of the Lord is in you, and you must wait in Jesus' name, ons come tegen die geest van self-moord, and ons bestraf you in Jesus' name, you have no place in the kinders of God's life, and we bestraf you in Jesus' name, and Holy Spirit I ask, let your presence come into their lives, into their hearts, into their minds. Because your word, Lord, says when the enemy tries to come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall raise up a standard against him. Holy Spirit, let your presence fill us with the joy of the Lord. Let us spend time in your word. Let us spend time reading. Let us spend time praying. Jere, eers trouw, maar ons is dikwels ontrouw, jere. Ons is ontrouw in ons gebedtijd. Ons is ontrouw in ons woordlees. Ons is ontrouw in ons aanbidding van u, jere. En omdat ons ontrouw is, dan onttrek u geest en dan krij die vijand een uh, slagkans, jere. Maar as ons trouw gaan wees, geer het die vijand geen kans en geen oop dier nie. I ask this, Heavenly Father, close every open door. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, of every person that's listening now, we close those doors in Jesus' name. You have no entrance. And Holy Spirit, we ask you to fill it. There is no a geest van self-moord and a geest van depressie, want ons weet, ons God is trouw. En, en ons weet al wandel ons nou in die dale. Is het kort kort wat die Heere ons weer in die berg opneem, dat ons weer klim tot in die heerlijkheid van die Heere. Lord, like the song says, let it be now for your children, I pray this, this, 
this evening and this week that lies ahead and the rest of this month of July that comes. Like the song says, I have joy like a river. I have joy like a river in my heart. I have peace like a fountain. I have peace like a fountain in my heart. And ja, Jere, dis heerlik om my Jere te dien. Dis heerlik om my Jere te dien. En ons skuil net by u, oor rots van die eeuwe. Ons skuil net by u. Ja, Jere, soos een swaar en een gewichtige rots in een dorstige land. Ons skuil net by u, Jere. En ons gee u al die lof, die eer, die prijs en die aanbidding. Jere, ek bid u sien op u gemeente, Jere. Laat die solving nou sal toesak, daar, Jere Jesus, waar die gemeente nou saam bid en die aangezicht soek, Jere. Lord, I pray for each family, Lord. Jere, laat ons sal intree vir ons eie families, bykie meer. Laat ons sal bid en sê, Jere, beskerm my familie. Ek pleit die bloed oor my familie. Jere, ek lig my familie op na u toe, Jere. Dat ons sal saam trek as een familie en saam trek, trek as die lichaam van God. En Jere, Ek sê dit vir myself en ek sê dit vir ons gemeente, ons het u nodig, Heere. Ons het u geest nodig, ons het u leiding nodig, Heere. Ons het u teenswoordigheid nodig in ons levens. Come Holy Spirit, we need thee. Come sweet spirit, I pray. Come in thy strength and thy power, come in thy own gentle way. En Heere, ek bid nou, a lekker geseende, godelike aanse ris vir elke een wat nou luister. Godelike drome, Heere. En Heere, laat ons u gaan dien in geest en in waarheid. Heere, ek bid het in Jesus wonderbare naam. Amen en amen. Heere, seen sy woord aan u die waar is. En Heere, seen die bid hier aan u. Ek het bykie oor gegaan. En onthou, God is trouw. God is trouw. Hy sal jou nie in die steek laat nie. God is trouw. Amen.